Good morning, students. Now, again, we are here to learn the English subject, class fourth, chapter is third. Now, students, I am sure that you might have going through your previous exercises from the previous chapters. Now, let's start. The third lesson is a poem. Do manners. Do you know the students the meaning of manners? The meaning of manner. Sorry. The meaning of manners is to behave in a such a way that the other person may not feel awkward. That means behaving with the good attitude to your friends, to your parents, or to your colleagues. Now let's start the poem. The poem is about the manner just now I have said to you. Be careful what you say or do. Be careful. Be careful means to be attentive when you say or when you talk to your friends, to your dear and dear ones. But here is something else. Talking or the being careful with the animals when you are going to the zoo. The first stanza says, is all about the animals when you are going to visit the zoo. Be careful what you say or do when you visit the animals at the zoo. Once again, I am explaining this, that whenever you go to visit the animals in the zoo, be a mindful person. Why? Because the second standard says, don't make fun of the camel's hum. He is very proud. Whenever you see the camels in the zoo, don't laugh at him. Don't make fun out of him because they have a very particular part of the body just near the head. That is called the hum. And seeing the hum, do not laugh. Because of his noble hum, don't laugh too much at the chimpanzee. So here, we are going to finish the here. The camel's hum is very proud. Why we don't have to laugh at the hum? Because the camels are very proud of his hum. The second standard is, don't laugh too much at the chimpanzee. He thinks he is uh, as wise as you or you. He thinks he is as wise as you or me. Because chimpanzees are as wise as us. They are considered as the as what we say the considered as the delivery. Hi students, now here I am Shrakash sir from Ram Krishna Vivekananda School. I am here with your subject English, chapter 3rd. This is a class 4th. This chapter is all about the poem. And in that poem, we will see how do with the, our the mandal attitude, not only the person, but with the animals too. I'm going to start the first time. Be careful what you say or do when you visit the animals at the zoo. This four lines tries to say that whenever we go 
to visit the animal in the zoo we have to be careful regarding with our behavior our attitude don't make fun of the camel's hump he is very proud of his noble bump this next four lines means don't make any kind of fun whenever we see the upper part of the camel that is called the hump why because about their hump they think that that hump is a noble here noble hump means that impresses now the next four lines don't laugh too much at the chimpanzee he thinks he is as wise as you or me this four lines try to indicates towards the animal that is called the chimpanzee and we consider that chimpanzee is related to our forefather they think themselves that they are too much wise as we think that we are wise so the students the writer says the elle matches says that we must not make any kind of fun or we must not laugh at chimpanzees now the next four lines and the penguins strutting around the lake can understand remarks you make now students the meaning of strutting is a uh, walking proudly in hindi we can say garv se sina taan kar the walking proudly putting our head towards the our opposite side say that penguin you might have seen the penguin in the discovery channel have you that they walk very steadily as we walk very steadily when we win the match when we are in success we walk putting our chest head up and walk just like the penguin walks so that is this line indicates that strutting around the lake they walk putting their chest and head around the lake remarks you make can understand whatever you give the remarks whatever you talk about them they soon get it they can understand what we mean about them so do not do not tease them do not take do not tell the ill about them because they have a very good sense of they can understand your eyes language your body's language now the last four lines treat them as well as they do you and you all always be welcome at the zoo so dear students again i like to put forward the view the idea of the writer elin at the end he wants to indicates the message to the students or to us that if we treat them well if we behave with them in a good attitude in a friendly way they will always welcome to us they will always ready to accept you your presence at the zoo now 
the treat meaning of the treat is to be a in a particular way in a particular way when we behave with our mothers when we get angry our attitude changes when we are happy our attitude changes so be careful when you visit the animal in the zoo as the writer's view is in this poem dear students as they, we are suffering with the epidemic disease so stay home be safe don't move around or whenever you come at home after walking or after some purpose from outside you have to continuously wash your hands with the sanitizer and one thing i like to remind you that the pdf of this chapter that means the exercise of this chapter has been sent to you you have to request your parents to get the mobile and through that mobile you go on studying and prepare for the exams thank you